Oh, mama, I just realized that we're going to potentially freeze because this is very- Ow! Ow! What the- What the tarnation? What is that thing? Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, we return boys and girls, and today, welcome to update 1.7.9. Without further ado, first off, let's dive into everything that has changed in this update, and then let's go and start checking out all this new stuff, because I can't believe all of the changes that have come to this. This is an absolutely massive update. Honestly, with the size of this update, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if this was update 1.8. That is how crazy the amount of content we are seeing in this is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get to checking out the changelog. Because I actually got my hands on this a little bit early. So unfortunately, there isn't like an official dev blog out yet that we can go over. But we do have the changes that show up when, uh, whatchamacall, as soon as the uh, game pops up. So let's start heading into that raid change. We have added an opportunity to break furniture with a hatchet so that nothing stands in your way to others' chests. But be careful, that's not relevant for the furniture made of other items upon crafting. So I'm not 100% sure what that means when they're saying that. The furniture made of other items upon crafting, that seems like an interesting way of saying it. But uh, also, raiders have new quests. This is absolutely amazing. Raiders have new quests, which means you can try other ways to gain their goodwill. For example, make a set of tactical armor or kill 15 toxic abominations, aka no longer do we have the same five quests that we have to knock out. But now there is a series of different quests that we have the opportunity of getting as we play the game. So it's not like we're guaranteed to get the same five quests. We can actually get totally different stuff. Uh, totally ran- I don't, I don't think it's 100% randomized, but there's like a much bigger pool. And like, I think they pick five quests out of that pool to for every time that you want to do raids so that is an absolutely awesome change especially because like the c4 all the dealer deals those are getting kind of annoying so to see this change this is absolutely awesome but this this is big news the turrets we have changed the turret recipe and now you can use it for your own house defense note that the turret shoots only warm blooded targets and does not shoot zombies the turret can be upgraded look for special parts in the bunker to do this probably in bunker floor four if the turret is destroyed, you can repair it with these parts. You can build up to four turrets that are all I had to burp a little bit that are all gas powered. There is a temporary oak location. They have new locations. Temporary oak location in the game now, where you'll be able to not only find resources, but also take part in interesting events. Welcome raiders, wild animals, and lumberjacks, and the power supply of the bunker alpha is almost repaired, and the generator is charged enough to get the elevator down to the fourth floor. Look for useful items and turret parts, but be careful. New traps won't make them wait. So this is absolutely awesome. Guys, let me know in the comment section, out of all of these things I just listed, what you are most looking forward to. And the first thing, we already have an oak event right here on the map. Without further ado, let's run over there. As soon as we knock this out though, we're heading out over to the bunker. I need to see what's in the fourth floor. We'll try and knock it out on normal mode. And then probably in the next episode, we'll try and do hard mode. Because I'm just so excited to show you guys everything that I possibly can about this update. Make sure that you are subscribed subscribed and with that notification bell hit to know as those videos come out and i can bless your faces with that information and if you guys do let me know in the comment section down below what you are most excited for reminder that's gonna put you a third of the way and still be a 25 dollar itunes slash play store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is be subscribed and make sure to hit that like button that will enter you on this video what happens is every week we do a giveaway saturday rolls around pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that's it will be savannah of safik and every time a winner is chosen we start a new weekly giveaway as well so absolutely awesome stuff just like this new location that we are rolling into and ah fast spider get out of here get out of here I wasn't ready for you. Um, all right, let's go ahead and toss on a pistol so we actually got a little bit of a weaponry here that we can roll with, but dude, oh, new location. But also make sure to do that with the notification bell hit so you never miss a video to enter in on and so I can keep giving you guys information on this update because this is the biggest update we've gotten in so long and there's just gonna be so much to do and ah, we're gonna be building so many turrets. We're gonna be decking out as much as we can, but uh, some kind of oak event is here. Now, by the looks of it, they said that I think there's different versions of these oak events and these oak events they are possible for all of us to get this isn't like you need the chopper to go to these oak events that is the huge thing the huge difference that is different about this and that is why it's so amazing no longer do you need the chopper to get a butt ton of oak now there are going to be special types of locations you can go to that'll pop 
up and we'll provide you with exactly what you need. And what the hell? What is this? What is this? A survivor? Hey, hey survivor, are you, are you, are you mean? I don't, he might be mean. He might be mean. If he's mean, okay, I got the AK. Boys, get the earplugs on. This might be getting loud. They got like a freaking hunting camp here. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. They're not, not friendly. Not friendly. All right, I got to I got to oh, freaking blow you boys down. I will not allow this to happen. Oh my God, there's so many of them. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Keep healing. Keep healing. Oh my God. All right, was, uh, was not expecting that. Dear Mama. Uh, so that's one of the possible events that can definitely happen. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. It's kind of like Chopper, but I think, I think there are even different variants of this type of stuff. And, uh, by the looks of it, I want to say that we probably got the one with the hunter's camp, because there's a dead deer here. A chest. Ooh. I wonder if there's maybe like a huge stockpile of oak in this chest. Ooh, dude, that'd be so amazing. Please, please, maybe, uh... Yeah, no, never mind. Okay. Uh, well, that's a little bit of a disappointment. Are there even more survivors here? Or is that all of them? Holy hell, dude. This is so cool. It's legit like a full-out camp. These dudes were set up. We just rolled in and we're like, uh, nah, sorry, bros. And I'm like, oh, um, all right. <gasps> no, I lost my shoes. Not the shoes. Also, sorry that I can't be as loud and hyped as I truly want to be right now. But the, when I'm recording this, it's a little, it's like 8 p.m. But, dude, I've gotten noise complaints for being quote unquote too loud right at like 5 p.m. So it's really unfortunate. But, God, I can't wait for this school semester to be over. Even just spring break, man, to go home where my parents are not like that and where my parents are cool. All right. Because, uh, unfortunately, well, I do live on my own over here at college, right? But uh, apparently, weird rules where uh, I can get noise complaints at 5 p.m., which is just great. All right, shenanigans aside, looks like we can, ooh, actually some cooked turkeys and stuff. Not too shabby, but by the looks of it, we're not getting any oak from any of this stuff, which is kind of poopy, but the good news is, is that, well, this is an oak location, so this is awesome because you guys will be able to come here. It's probably a great idea whenever you do to come to this type of event. Make sure to bring iron hatchets exactly like I did, along with a huge arsenal of weapons that we're going to be utilizing as we go over to the bunker to try and knock that out. But you guys can see that there are some oak trees scattered throughout here that you are going to be able to chop down and begin bolstering your oak, especially with the raid changes and further emphasis on the raiding system. This is just such an amazing and welcome change because this helps everybody not just the chopper people who have access to the north no 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 not today this is a source of oak that all of us will be get out of here fast spider no y'all gotta go uh yeah this is something that all of us will be able to partake in and oh my god why are there so many zombies why did you guys not attack the hunters before what is this what is this shenanigans come on get out of here get out of here floater floaters <sighs> all right we also got all the foxes we could hunt but honestly i got tons of furs and furs might be very useful because as you know it's possible dude there's some very cold rooms in floor four so we got to kind of watch out for that but looks like we have ooh, a nice little grove of oak here Ooh, I, dude, there's way more orc, oak. Uh, I can't English. I also got to keep burping, dude. Why am I so burpy today? Uh, apparently, dude, there's a ton of oak around these. This is really, that's like 10 oak trees. What do you get? Probably two oak logs per thing. That's, that's a stack of oak minimum. And honestly, there might be even more because there's a massive, oh my God. How many toxic abominations are there here? This is crazy, dude. What in tarnation is going on? Actually, this is kind of good because Kafir did give an example in the dev blog, such a little intro, saying that it's going to be possible to get that as one of the quests that have to kill 15 toxic abominations. So this, this location could be a double whammy. There's a lot of toxic abominations. Well, a very welcome change if that's exactly the quest that you have. But for now, let's keep on mowing these dudes down as they continue to run towards us. And I think we only have a couple of more bad dudes. That we gotta say goodbye to. And after that, we should be able to do all the looting that we want. Goodbye, Floater Floater. Thank you for trying. Uh, come again next time. <laughs> uh, but we do have all these oak trees that we could get to chop, and so 
might as well chop them down, you know? Like, hey, we're here. I like oak. I'm guessing you guys like oak. And we do have a solid amount of durability left on these iron hatchets. And, I mean, when in Rome, might as well chop down some oak trees and actually put them to use, which is exactly the game plan right now. And then we're going to head on over to the bunker core floor. And I don't even know what the hell's in there, man. But I'm excited. I'm guessing there might be, like, updated turrets. Something along those lines, maybe, because we are able to upgrade our turrets, and I can't wait to. I'm gonna try to get all of my turrets. No, I don't want no freaking plant fiber game. Get out of here with that. I uh, also go ahead and start munching down on some of this stuff, getting rid of that. But I'm guessing we might even be able to see some like, I don't know. Are we just gonna be able to upgrade turrets at home, or does this mean that the bunker also has upgraded turrets now? Both of these, well, one of these options is really dope. The other option is kind of horrifying. It makes me fear floor four even more. So uh, we're going to have to wait and see, but we're not going to have to wait too long. Honestly, mm, how much longer do we want to keep chopping? We got two oak logs there. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. You know, why don't we just break these two hatchets? I mean, they're about to break anyway, and there's not really that many... Not many oak trees left. I know I could be looting the dead bodies of the zombies too, but come on, we, we know what the zombies got. They don't have anything crazy. It sucks that the hunters, though, that all of their stuff was so, uh, so broken down. Otherwise, that would have been such an amazing pickup. Oh, no, why would you start chopping that tree, man? Come on, chop the oak log. Why, why would you switch tree chop? Why would you loot that? Boy, come on, focus. Focus on the man. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna fix this solution. I mean, fix this problem with the solution. There we go. Get out of here, freaking dead zombie. Let's just uh, finish chopping down this oak tree and hopefully our hatchet breaks on it. Hey, right on the dot. And we're walking out here with 16 and there's probably what? A couple more oak logs, but I don't mind. I don't want to spend too much time here because I do want to check out as much as we can here in this first episode of our first look at update 1.7.9 because there's just so much. I want to, ooh, if we could get enough turret parts because I'm guessing we have to like destroy turrets in the bunker to do that. If we can get enough turret parts and actually build a turret today too, ooh, that'd be so hype, man. I'm just, God, I wish I could be louder because this is the hypest I've been, dude. Just, just earlier today, we did the multiplayer video, or I, I recorded the multiplayer video where we had the first look at multiplayer gameplay. Now we got 1.7.9. There's just too much hype. I can't contain it, but I have to because that this housing will no longer contain me if I can't contain my excitement. And I am trying to get kicked out, boys. All right, and unless I can find a very nice cardboard box out in the street with some good internet, in which case, YOLO, I could be as loud as I want in the streets, solid trade-off. <laughs> but let's go and find out the bunker code for today. That's gonna be some necessary information and drop off a couple of the things that we did pick up throughout the raid. But dude, this is actually going really smoothly and really amazing so far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do some of this organizational slash kind of eh stuff. And then we're going to head to bunker floor number four. And one last thing that I also did want to pick up on the way to the bunker is actually bring over some of the tickets. I don't think that we have enough to open up the red tickets, but I will also bring the red tickets because we'll probably get some tickets throughout floor four as well. Dude, I'm just so not, I'm not used to having the new floors. This is going to be some crazy stuff. But uh, this is actually going to be really useful because maybe we'll get to see if we could get turret parts from some of the bunkers from not the bunkers, but from some of the ticket crates. Like maybe we'll see if the yellow ticket crate, for example, might be able to give us turret parts because like we need 20 of them. So we got to try every single source that we can to get our hands on them. Uh, but I also want to go and take a couple of sips of agua and find out the bunker code as well, because, uh, well, you, you kind of need to know the magical number that opens the door before they let you in. So let's go ahead and tune on in. Here you can see the dealer trying to deal with me, but I I don't need to talk to my dealer right now. Instead, we got the radio signal. This is gonna be the signal for today as well, unless this video has to come out a little bit later than I intend, which is always possible. So if this does not work, hopefully someone is being super helpful and super awesome, like the fan for fantastic people in this community that we have down below in that comment section, spreading the new code of today to hopefully help you out a little bit. But but actually, now that I think about it, I kind of do want to summon the raiders. I want to see what random five quests we get out of these guys. And maybe we can even start making progress on those quests as we clear out the fourth floor of the bunker. Dude, this actually could be an amazing double whammy type of situation. And it'll give us a look season to uh, what possibilities we can get ourselves into. So hello, my raiding brethren. What do you have? Oh, my God. 
All right. They say there's a blind beast in the bunker and someone's five me. All right. Well, quest number one, we have to kill the blind one. So, all right. We'll, do, we'll definitely do that at some point. Uh, honestly, if we're clearing out the bunker, dude, not even too shabby of an idea. We're going to we're gonna turn on hard mode for floor four anyway, so maybe we'll turn it on for that. But I already love this system. This is such an amazing change that they have changed this because, dude, this is actually going to allow us to, like, it's just going to be... It just gives more variety to having to do raids, and there's just so much. But all right, all right, shenanigans aside, 25 chests. Uh, make 20 first aid kits. Not too awful. Uh, what is this? Uh, let's see how you cope. Ooh, the fourth floor. That, oh, all right, let's clear out the fourth floor. Then that's something we're going to do in 20 iron plates. That is super easy. As long as you have a workbench and 20, it gets bada bing, bada boom, boys. This won't even be too hard. I love this. This is an awesome change. I, I love that change, dude. I, I feel these, these last couple of updates, including this one, I don't know what it is. They've just been amazing. Like 1.7.8, it didn't bring a lot at first, but they totally revamped the raids where we're actually consistently getting really good raids. Really good loot, dude. We've gotten two scuba masks. Two scuba masks in like less than a week from the raids that we've done. Something crazy is going on. Kafir's making a lot of positive changes. They're communicating a lot more with us lately. And not only that, but dude, they finally showed us the first peek at multiplayer. I'm just saying, I think Kafir is making some changes for the better. And with this update and how stupidly massive it... I don't think anyone expected this update to be this massive. I just... This is going to be awesome. And we are loaded. Oh, we are loaded. And we are ready to see what the fourth floor will bring. We got some ranged weapons over here. Fully modded M16 with a pretty solid range on that. Also a couple of VSSs. And uh, the good thing about those is that we're not going to go death firing them. So that's that's always a very nice positive, if you ask me. I, I like having my eyesight. No. My hear sight. No. Hearing. Yeah, <laughs> I like having my hearing. It's a it's a pretty cool thing to have. So I'm 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 pretty cool with uh, actually rolling with it. But I'm also pretty cool with loading into this. So hopefully it happens quick. And here we are. We have arrived, and it is time to begin. I uh, uh, the fourth floor. I was gonna try to say that in like a more epic way, but let's go ahead. Let's enter in the code that we will require. Forty. Oh no, I messed that one up. Uh, I'm ninety four. And then the eight confirm. Let's go ahead and get that puppy open. Uh, I don't think the Raiders have stolen anything from these lockers yet, which is relatively good news because I like keeping these lockers under wraps. Although we did extract most of the good stuff. We do have some broken down weapons there and whatnot to help us out. Uh, hopefully, well, if worst case, we got some fur if we need to bring it. But for now, let's begin heading on into here because I... I don't think the entire floor is going to be frozen. I think it's just going to be certain rooms. So if we can get through those certain rooms quick enough, I don't think it should be too big of a problem. But at the end of the day, man, ooh, do we want to bring more med kits? Maybe that might not be a shabby idea. Uh, maybe we'll get some more healing supplies, some more med kits. Worst case, we, we could run back up to the top floor. I think we should have some more waiting for us over there. But, uh, all right, Are you, game, you want to load a little bit quicker there, buddy? There you go. Uh, why don't we go ahead and use the pistol here to clear out some of these beginning dudes, because I ain't trying to use too much ammunition on uh, you pushovers, my boyos. Sorry, fast butter. Thanks for running at me. I appreciate the effort, but uh, you're just going to die, Sonny Jimbo. We do got to take care of a couple of these guys over here. Hello. Best biter number one. And all right, sorry about that, guys. Had to head back up top side really quickly. Why don't we go ahead and see what this thing has got for us besides uh, the usual, which is apparently going to be nothing, so that's great. Uh, why don't we go ahead and start opening this puppy up while that's happening. Let's take our best biter. Number two right over there, and we got one more. Didn't want to get some bullets up in his face, and with that, we'll see if maybe we could get a wrench out of here, because sometimes this place does drop a wrench, and wrenches are kind of pretty dope. Not super dope, but they're, they're pretty dope. We got the red ticket stockpile as well. Let's see. Ooh. Got an engine part. We'll definitely be bringing that back with us. I'm not going to pick it up right now, though, because we're going into uncharted and very dangerous territory. But, dude, I just love the fact that there is... Uh, actually, real quick, I wonder if we stop by... Okay, we got to kill this guy, too. 
Sorry, fast spider. Uh, I want to stop by this guy's specialist. What's up, my dude? Anything new? No, just got to get some reputation to get that thing. As per usual, I mean, I'm sure when we do the fourth floor on hard mode. Dude, that's another thing. Another floor means more opportunities for tickets, more opportunities for hard mode items. Oh, there's just, there's so much that this fourth floor adds. But with that, floor number four, ladies and gentlemen. We begin the dive, and I also love the oak events too, because I just love when there are more events going on in the overworld, because it just seems more lively, and whenever you have just more options and more choices, that's that's when Last Day on Earth, I feel like, is at its best. When it's not like, okay, there's an airdrop, or like there's a chopper, that's the best event I should go to, but if it's like, oh, there's a chopper event, there's an oak log event, there's all these awesome different events going on, it's just like, alright, dude, that's actually some pretty awesome stuff, and, ooh... Here we have arrived. I don't know why the overworld music is still playing, but uh, I guess that'll just be chilling in the background. Let's equip some of the better weapons. Better. Yeah, dude, I think a fully modded M16. I did not have a fully modded AK. And uh, if we know that a super tough area is coming, I think that a fully modded VSS might be a solid investment as well. But, uh, but for the time being, I think this should be okay. It looks like we should be able to go over here with a terminal. Well, by the looks of it, dude, look at what you can see over there. Look at that. You can see what appears to be like a really good chest, a military box, bro. Bro, this is looking good, but okay. Why don't we go ahead? Let's start making our way. Listen, we, we're, we're trying to be at the tippity top of our game, so let's take the tippity top door that we can. Looks like we got some fast biters here. Shouldn't be too hard to take these puppies. Oh, mama. All right, we got a big guy. Let's take out the small guys first. Don't want to get overwhelmed. Uh, ooh. It might be a solid investment to try and find some good armor as well, now that I'm thinking about it. Because our armor is kind of relatively close to being broken, which is not the greatest thing. Uh, let's definitely pick up what they got. Make sure we continue stockpiling the tickets. And this is just so... Ooh, we got a frenzy giant somewhere. Uh, how do we want to take him out? I say maybe we just use the pistol because this is not hard mode. We don't... Oh! Dude, doing this floor on hard mode, I just realized why that might be an issue. We have to find some good areas where we can kite frenzy giants because those dudes become stupid fast. Unless we just have a really good weapon that can take them out super quick. Uh, what is this? A dog with the skill true friend is required. So that is awesome. You can see that the fourth floor is also going to incorporate dogs. And dogs are going to be important in getting to areas like this. Maybe we'll be able to get to that area through that back door over there. I don't know. We'll have to see. But there is going to be a frenzy giant awaiting us here. So I hope you guys are ready. We're going loud, boys. Actually, never mind. No, I think the frenzy... Oh, okay. It's actually over there. Uh, all right. Let's go back to this thing then and kind of... What do we have? A toxic abomination? All right. Nothing, nothing too bad. I think, I think I had to take out some of these guys anyway for one of the quests. Or no. I don't think I ended up getting the toxic abomination quest. But hey, that's okay. We don't need every quest in existence. Let's just get those dog tags. Let's see what we can get here. Let's make sure that we're healing up as well. Might as well use some stakes. You know, we didn't have to... We don't have to necessarily use them. Wait, we could get copper from the loot of this? Yo, yo, this floor is going to be dope. I wonder if we can get steel. Dude, if they're dropping copper, oh, if they start dropping steel, I am going to be a happy mother trucker. Uh, what do we have here? Oh my God, that's a lot that we have there. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like we have a toxic abomination. Let's start taking you out there, buddy. We got- Oh my god, we got a lot of stuff. All right, let's try and get a little bit of separation with these guys. Hopefully take out the toxic spitters first because there is a lot of those dudes. Uh, yeah, there we go. I don't- I just want to be getting hit by the minimum amount of things imaginable. Let's be ready to heal. Make sure that we don't die from all of these abominations just ganging up on us and- Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. Ooh. Our armor is getting pretty close to being broken. This is not the place. This is uncharted territory. We don't know what to expect. We might want to go back topside and maybe get some of that armor from the chests. Although we, I don't think we have a lot of spare SWAT armor. All right, well, what do we have here? We have a turret. Can we shoot it from here? We can. It's not shooting back. Awesome. fan freaking fantastic news. Turret number one goes down. Can I get some turret parts from you? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. If I get five turret parts from each turret, bro, 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 bro. We are about to have a turret chilling at our base. Because if we take a peek at the recipe right down here, big boys, no 
nothing that expensive besides the turret parts. Let's just go ahead and learn the recipe now, too, because I'm already getting a little bit excited. And let's see the chest that it was protecting as well. Now, our gun is about to break, which is pretty bad news, but we got some more copper coming our way as well, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, why don't we go ahead and let's open up this doorway and see what's on the other side. Nothing. Oh, this looks kind of cold. I wonder if that's the refrigerator room that we saw in the teaser. Oh, if it is, we might want to have a relatively powerful gun. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you shotgun rain in a hot minute? I think that uh, a little bit of shotgun rain is in order, don't you guys? Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a while. Hopefully these guys aren't too fast and they'll come running after us. Let's open the door and oh, mama, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, yeah, numb zombies. At least they, oh no, it's shotgun rain. Shotgun rain. All right, we can slowly start taking these guys out. Ooh. And, oh, Jesus, dude, that guy just got blown up into a bajillion parts. At least we can kite these dudes around. They are not the fastest. And it doesn't look like, I, I don't think they heal when they hit us either. All right, for science, I will accept a hit from one of these. Oh, no, they do heal. Never mind. Maybe it was the numb zombie. Seemed like he got a hit off on us and nothing too bad happened from it. But uh, as you guys know, we haven't done this in a while. Shotgun rain. God, it's just not right when I can't can't be as loud as I want to be to really stay in the spirit of a shotgun rain but let's see what these dudes dropped hopefully some good stuff because I mean they are vampires so eh. we're getting some red tickets but the amazing thing about this floor is that it pretty much guarantees if you do every floor in a bunker run I'm pretty sure that guarantees you what's your McCall um that guarantees you opening every possible chest up top, which is honestly a huge, huge deal. Uh, are there going to be turrets waiting for us? That's another thing that I am horrified of. I don't want to give the poo poo by the turrets, dude. Although, hey, hey, oh, ow, ow, ow. oh my god, I'm freezing already. Jesus. All right, so it looks like you can freeze very quickly over in those parts. That is not good. Luckily, we have some hot alcohol to keep us nice and toasty, lads. And yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and sip on one of that, give us some hydration, do some urination. Ooh, I got the rhymes. It's like a whole new nation. Ah, uh -huh. I'm just, I'm sorry, dude. New hit single coming out soon. No worries. <laughs> uh, so we should be able to stay nice and toasty throughout here. Open up the door and it looks like we do. Oh no, she's freezing again. She's freezing again. Can you please drink that other one right there and stay fine? Thank you. All right, because we're about to come up against another turret. Uh, so it looks like, oh my God, a heavy turret. How, uh, how good is this thing, by the way? Can I, uh, does it, does it know I exist? No? Okay, well, this is, this is a pretty good deal. Although, dude, look at how little damage it's taking from us. This is not good news, but hey, the fact that we can shoot at it and, and holy hell, dude. You better drop a lot of turret parts, my heavy turret, dude. I still, I don't even have the, uh, <laughs> I don't have the huevos to run over to you, buddy. I'm a little bit horrified. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You didn't drop anything. Get out of here with that cabbage. Uh, what do we have over here? You know what? Why don't, why don't we see? Are they like machine gun turrets? Or are they normal? Or oh, Jesus! Okay, that's a lot of damage we just withstood. Uh, all right, that's not good. Why don't we kind of finesse our way barely into its range and see if we can... Okay, marvelous. We can stay outside of its range at least. So that's good because that guy starts mowing us down like crazy. You guys are going to want some long-range weapons when you head over to this floor. If you don't have them, eh, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a not so fun time but most weapons with the sight on them or vsss should be able to stay out of range of the heavy turret i don't know if normal weapons can but i don't know if i want to test that out at the moment because i'm kind of uh horrified of dying to this full automatic beast uh so just go ahead and go loud and oh my god Dude, this thing barely does any damage to it what the hell that's actually crazy I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick using the VSS, honestly. I think that that's a solid idea. What the hell? Talk about weird, man. At least it's protecting a chest and maybe it'll drop uh, some weapons. Yes! I don't know about weapons, but five turret parts. Pew, 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 pew. Coming our way. Thank you kindly. Heavy turret, are you potentially protecting more turret parts? I don't know. I suppose we can find out in just a jiff. No, but more copper, and more copper is never a bad thing, dude. This day just keeps on getting better and better. Uh, all right. No dual Berettas, but we do have the shotgun. We should be able to open this door, and is this the last door that, like, completes the circle? And I really wish I did have some, uh, 
which we call some fur armor. That might not be the shabbiest idea. Let's open up that door. Wait, we got two dudes running our way. Nothing but a little bit of shotgun range. Shouldn't be able to take care of. Goodbye, dumb zombie. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, I'll let you heal up a little bit. I don't care too much about that. All I care about is shotgun rain. Taking you out so you can feel the pain. Shotgun rain. Oh, mama, I just realized that we're going to potentially freeze because this is very... Ow, ow, what the... What the tarnation? What is that thing? Did you guys see that? Are those like bags of meat? What the hell? I thought meat was delicious. This ain't Mama's Sloppy Joe recipe. This is... What the hell? Alright, well... I think that running into those can actually hurt you. Huh. And I don't want to completely run through there because I think that the room after that might actually be the Frenzy Giant room that we saw. So instead, what we're going to do is try to make our way over there through this doorway right here. We do have to take out the one. No, we can't. Oh, God dang it. All right, so we do we do have to go that way. Sorry about the burping. Yeah, that is going to be the Frenzy Giant Room. So hopefully enough for our shotgun to take out and take care of here. Uh, so we just got to make sure that we don't freeze to death either because we are going to have to double back through that room as well. So that's not going to be good. And hopefully we don't hit any of those bags of meat because apparently those things are lethal. What in Sarnation, dude? I love this, though. I love having a new place to explore, new enemies to fight, turrets to take down, and hopefully soon a turret to build. I can't wait to get one of those puppies up and running in our base, so just make sure that we don't hit these bags of meat and... Ooh, oh, God! Jesus! Did you see how much damage that did? 30 damage? Bro, this is whack. All right, Frenzy Giant, how do you do, buddy? Hopefully I can take you out before... uh. All right, I, I don't want to... Ow, ow, ow. I hate this place. Oh, he takes damage too, though. You guys seeing this? Oh, no. Oh, it's like it like shoots out spikes whenever someone's nearby. That is the weirdest thing. All right, friends and giant, you got to go, though, from my friend. Courtesy, my regards sent from Shotgun Rain. Do you have anything good? Hey, a red ticket, at least. That's pretty solid. Okay, um, why don't we go ahead? I think that... Mm, Mm, I'm scared. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna use a first aid kit now. It's the only healing item we have and these balls of meat. I've never been so scared of balls in my life, but that changes today, apparently. Let's go ahead and open this terminal up and that should complete the right half of this area. Marvelous. That leaves us with another half of the area. And I think, ooh, this was not open before. Ooh, we got more turrets, don't we? I do, none diddly do believe that we do, but we don't have any good weapons for taking them out. What kind of turrets we got here? Are these just gonna be more heavy? Oh, this looks like, uh, this looks like light turrets. Okay, that'll be good. Should be able to use this M4 slash 16. To take out turret. Ooh, that turret dropped five turret parts too, I think. Let's go. Is this another room that, that we need the dog for? Dude, I can't wait for this dog. Ooh, I wait, I wonder. It did say we needed to open the terminal, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, bro, I just activated a terminal. All right, maybe there's a terminal somewhere else in the map we gotta activate. There's some kind of a doorway here that also requires us to- Dude, what is with all these terminals? Very interesting floor, though, and its design. A lot of, like, double backing and stuff like that. What about this turret here? This is also a level 1 turret, so that's good because they are a lot easier to take down, and I think that they do less damage, and also, we do way more damage with our guns, and I would like to keep my- my damage to the max, and- Wait, are you serious? I didn't get turret parts from that? Oh, no, these are the weak sauce turrets. These aren't, like, upgradable turrets, I think. Huh. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I got ten turret parts out of that. Boo. Ooh. That doesn't make up for it, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, we should have a little shotgun here to take out the dudes that are going to be waiting for us. I think this is another... Yes, uh, we do need a pupper with the true skill, so we'll try and make that happen uh, next time Whenever the not next time, but whenever the dog update is we're gonna have to kind of wait on that Got some toxic spitters we gotta deal with nothing that a little bit of shotgun range shouldn't be able to help handle Luckily, this is an entire room full of toxic spitters. So not even oh, no, we have we have one toxic abomination We gotta deal with Still, for the most part, not too shabby. We can- Oh, this is actually really nice. There's a little area you can circle right in the middle of the map, and then you can finish him off with shotgun rain! One day, I'll be able to say shotgun rain properly again. God, I can't wait for spring break. That's gonna be fun. I can be as loud as I want to be in my videos, aka I can be my natural self. 
I need that right now. Uh, looks like we got two options here. We can go up and... Ooh, hey, friends of giant. How you doing? Uh, we got a chest. Ooh, this is like a military box down here. I wonder, what do you have for me, Mr... Yeah, I, I totally just store three three bolts in, in my military boxes. It's 100% what I do. <laughs> uh, why don't we see what's down here? Looks like... Oh, mama, we got some frozen guys. Oh, my God, we got a lot of frozen guys. Luckily, we got a lot of shotgun ready to take your boy. Oh, goodbye, legs, to take these boys out with. So sorry, you vampires, but uh, you ain't getting a piece of me today. But you are getting a piece of shotgun rain. <laughs> And you're not dropping me anything, so that's kind of a douche nozzle move. Shanks, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, we do... Ooh, those bags of meat, though. All right, why don't we try and take out Frenzy Giant over here? I mean, he's a slowpoke. We got some shotgun right, and it does look like that area goes up north. And here's the thing. I think that... Oh, no, no, don't let him get too close there. All right, I'll just let him get finished with shotgun right. But, um, I think that that area is going to loop to loop back around to finish that circle. So what I think that we got to do... Ooh, another red one. So I think that this is going to be like a completely different thing up here. So I wonder what this could be. Could this be any good or... Alright, nothing too great there. We can open this up and... Alright, we got like some kind of long hallway and... Ooh, what is that thing at the end? Looks like we have a turret, don't we? <laughs> Luckily for you... Oh, we don't have enough parts to take him out with. I'll just make sure that we stay out of his range. Not trying to, uh, get blown up and... Yeah, it looks like that is a turret over there, so... Alright, I mean, we don't have enough to, uh, finish him off, unfortunately. We'll come back here with another couple quality VSSs and we'll see what's at the end. It looks like he's protecting a chest, but I'm curious. Do you also shoot normal stuff, or what, what kind of heavy turret are you, buddy? Buddy Jimbo, do you, do you, are you also like a... I'm very scared because he hasn't shot me yet. Oh, dear mama! Okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, it's just a normal turret. All right, I'll make sure to stay out of your range there, buddy. Whew. Uh, we got to get through here. Those sacks of meat, freaking sacks. Uh, we're running a little bit low on weaponry, though, which ain't good. Let's try and get through here. Ow! All right, dude, this is actually... Ow. This is going to be a re... Ow! Oh, and we're freezing now, too. Isn't that great? Please get me out of here. I need to warm up. Yeah, I do. What is that over there? Numb zombie? All right, I'll take you two out. Ooh. What's your buddy doing? Numb zombie number two. Dead zombie number two. We got another generator here. What is this? It will take time to restore the electricity supply to lower floors. When the generator works at its full capacity, you'll be able to get there in the elevator. So it's just kind of like the same as the generator we had before. Let's grab that open and let's see what is in. Oh, mama, that's a lot in that hallway. Ooh, I might want to try and grab a full quality weapon because I I'm not a fan of trying to die eh. If there's frenzy giants, I am very worried actually, but uh YOLO! Let's try and take this out. Looks like just fast fighters. Shouldn't be too bad. Actually, no. I think I do see one very uh very slow opponent. Oh dear god. There is a frenzy giant. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, don't let him get too close. I'm scared. I'm scared. Please. Do I have enough shotgun rain to take you out? Oh no, oh no. He's, we're getting backed up into a corner. Oh no! Please, die a little bit quicker. Die quicker! Oh! That was cutting it a little bit too close. Don't like that loop-de-loop. -loop. Don't, don't like that hallway. That is a hallway of doom, death, and lots of destruction. I like hallways of flowers, unicorns, and rainbows. A lot chiller and- Oh my god! We got a steel plate. I am officially in love with floor four, except for the very frozen parts. Oh my god, dude, this floor is amazing. I hate that we only got 10 turrets. Maybe there's more turrets, though? I mean, we do still have, like, what, one room over here to deal with, and that's just a terminal, so... I I think we might be able to take out one more heavy turret. We'll do that. Uh, we do need to get some more weapons and whatnot for that, though, but... Ooh, that does open up it. Is there something good at the end here? Maybe? Cross your fingers? Cross all you got? Oh my god. All right, I'll... Dude, this is... This is great. This floor actually gives you good rewards at the end of it. This isn't something that we've seen in a hot minute. What about you, box number two? Do you have something good for Papa Star? Some pantaloons, perhaps? Yeah. Nope. There's a little bit more of that, but guys and gals, <laughs> I can't wait to return here because I wonder what's going to happen in hard mode. Because here's the thing. Frenzy Giants, you guys know how they become Super Saiyan in hard mode. I wonder what's gonna happen to like the numb zombies in hard mode, even the turrets. I wonder if like they'll get upgraded to the next level. 
something like that, dude. There's a lot of possibility, a lot of potential that we are going to need to check out. But as of right now, we do need to go and get our hands on some more ranged weapons to take out that last turn and hopefully get the rest of the turret parts. Hopefully it next episode too we'll do hard mode hopefully we'll get enough turret parts out of that as well to walk out of here with what we want to walk out of and then go back home and begin building as a base defense of a lifetime dude i'm telling you right now i know exactly where i am putting that turret i am putting it up north all right in the like northern part of my base if you guys have been watching for a while you know that that area for whatever reason that is the only place that raiders try to break into don't know why but uh we're gonna try and finesse them out of that but with that that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of last day on earth we're already going way longer than i thought we would but i just lost track of time because this update is awesome i'm loving it i can't wait to check out the hard mode of floor four with you guys ooh, 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 ooh. do you know what we got to do boys and girls we got to try and get a floppy disk from hard mode and see if maybe there's new loot to be had there, along with also the red ticket crate. Hopefully we'll get some more red tickets. We still got to try out the new raids. We got to try and find all the oak events because I think there's three different ones. I think they listed three ones and... Dude, I'm even forgetting all their stuff that we gotta do. So let me know in that comment section as well if there's anything specific that you want us to check out. But I think next episode, we're going to try and do hard mode of the bunker and knock that out. But I am loving this update so far. I hope that you guys enjoy the bejesus out of it. Looks like it has a ton of awesome changes that I cannot wait to participate in with you guys. But that is gonna wrap it up for me. Best of luck to you guys joining as a Chopper Squadron. And best of luck clearing the floor for just best of luck with everything that has to do with this new update. Best of luck with your raids. Best of of luck as well with defending your base maybe even getting a couple turrets set up that'd be pretty dope and most importantly of all best of luck in having an absolutely favorite fantastic day tomorrow's gonna be even more favorite fantastic we're gonna keep checking out this update hope you guys stick around can't wait to hop into you with that but that's gonna do it for me for now thank you guys all time for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya oh no 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 i got i got i got a wave see ya